Welcome back to another episode of uh, Let's Play Real Madrid in Football Manager 2019. I'm Aether and today is Sevilla time. Since last episode, that loss versus Atletico Madrid, we bounced back with a win away versus Leganes. Leganes, probably butchered that name, sorry for that. Um, but of course, they, they are in relegation spot as a team we should be beating pretty easy, and we did. Today, though, we are in kind of a difficult situation because... We have a hugely important game versus Sevilla today, but it's only going to be two days of rest before we play versus Monaco away in the Champions League. And this will probably be the toughest uh, game in the group stage uh, in, in the Champions League. So the question is, are we going to use some strong players for this game or for this game? And uh, well, kind of a mix-ish is coming up. Uh, the league table, we're currently down to fourth place. And we are four points behind Barcelona, who have played one more game. Which means if we win today, we're just going to be one point behind them. But at the same time, there are quite a few other teams here that could... Could... Uh... Yeah, basically, <laughs> there are a lot of teams that can stay ahead of us. Uh, today, though, when we're talking about Sevilla, they are in ninth place. But uh, the season is very early, and a few teams that are ahead of them have played more games. Media predicts them to reach a top four spot, fighting for a Champions League spot. So we know that they are a quality team and a tough opponent. Uh, we have picked up two injuries, which one of them... Currently we have Carvalho and uh, Marino injured. And the Marino injury is actually... It was five weeks. Now it says two to four weeks. And uh, that's unfortunate because he's the guy that's rotating with Benzema up on top. I'm not completely sure how I will handle it. For now, I have promote, promoted a, a youth player that's on the bench. He's clearly nowhere near good enough. Uh, of course, we have the option to play with Bale up on top. Um, and even uh, uh, Junior here. Um, but uh, we'll have to think because I feel like whenever we are up against a top op tough opponent, I want both Bale and Benzema on the pitch to, at the same time. Which means we need somebody that can play in this position when I'm resting these guys for the, the tougher opponent. But that's uh, basically it. So let's move ahead for the Sevilla game. And of course we have this youngsters. This first game is from our youth team. So we need to give him a squad number. And this is the Sevilla team we're up against. Hopefully we can do well. Hopefully we can come out on top. Kind of a defense-minded formation here, but that's clearly not uh, very surprisingly because they are playing away versus us, Real Madrid. That is a tough game for them, so I, I respect their choice and their style of playing, but hopefully we can do well. And we are using our our attacking formation ourselves. And we are playing some of our best players, and we are resting some of our best players. Kind of a... I hope, I hope that it doesn't just come with a price that we... That we uh, that we lose both of these games because me trying to compromise having fresh players for both of the games. Let's just hope that that doesn't happen. But um, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Because uh, uh, I feel like if uh, if we do well away versus Monaco in in the Champions League, we are definitely setting ourselves up uh, for for winning group. And uh, hopefully that can happen. This um, we need it and a breakthrough is. A ball, a ball into the box, and look at that! Look at that! Beautiful strike from the youngster. And of course, uh, I think this is the first game this season he is starting. And uh, he's clearly not one of our top players, but maybe a name for the future. And he got to start now when we are resting players, because normally I'm using Asensio in this position. But now, since we don't have a... Oh, no, no, now, because I'm resting him for the Monaco game, it was time for the youngster to to show some passion. But here is Sevilla attacking. And this could be bad news for us. No, but beautiful intercepted by Casemiro. Finds a ball. A ball with a beautiful pass for Benzema into the box. And he hit the post. Oh, my God. That could have set us up in a great position. But instead, we are under pressure by Sevilla with a counter-attack. But um, it just runs out to nothing. That was a great chance for Benzema. If he would have uh, managed to handle that one a little bit better, we would have been in a great, great position. Here's Marcelo. Marcelo is a comeback kid, back from injury, with a long, long cross, misses everything, but Bale picks it up. Bale for Modric. Modric changes flank, back to Marcelo. Marcelo into the box all by himself, and a decent try. A bit optimistic, but we are creating things. 
And uh, now that we are getting from highlight to highlight. Into the box, Benzema, Casemiro, and it's going to be a penalty, I believe. It's going to be a penalty, and the, actually the ref is going to take a look at the, the video. But hopefully we will get a penalty. And actually, I'm, I'm so new to this save. This is the first penalty that we have gotten. I have assigned penalty takers, but I don't remember who is our main penalty takers among the ones that's currently on the pitch. So this will be interesting, because I have no idea. No, it's a free kick! It's outside the box! That's very unfortunate. But maybe we can do something well from, from this one. Ramos, nothing. Bale, oh! The goalkeeper was uh, basically down and out. And I think Bale could have done a little bit better there. But we keep on creating chances. I'm pleased with that. Looking at this one, we're completely dominating the game. Uh, as the clock ticks away. And here is Benzema. Look at the right flank. Oh, is it going to be a red card? And we're already dominating things. And things just got even better for us. And of course, that was a clear red card. Clear one. Kind of unnecessary, I feel like, for the defender. But uh, I don't care. Take every advantage we can get. Here's Marcelo. Marcelo. With an early cross for Benzema. It's clear. A ball for Casemiro. Casemiro! And yep, 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 that was exactly what we wanted. I feel like when we are playing at home using this formation, we are playing so very well. Even against a pretty good team as Sevilla. But I would like to try it like at home versus Atletico Madrid or a tough Champions League game to see if, uh, if it works uh, even against like the top teams in the world. I feel like for, for most of the teams, every game we played like this at home, we've been dominating. And Bale and Modric and Ramos into the box and it's actually hit Benzema somewhere on the way. Um, let's take a look at the replay because I didn't actually see how it catched the Benzema. So we have Marcelo with the free kick, Bale wins the header, then Modric back for Ramos and there it is Benzema. Talking about a goal thief showing up on the right time at the right place. We have three goals up at home versus TV at half time. This is a brilliant game. We complete. Look at this 19 shots to one. 11 on target to zero. Makes me a very, very pleased manager. And I'm actually going to gamble a bit and tell them that I am very pleased. Sometimes when I say this during half time, they start slacking during the second half because they think everything is over. So this might have been a mistake. But uh, let's try it out with Real Madrid. Maybe it's also time to make some early subs for players that we'd like to use for the Champions League game. It's Bale the free kick and look at that beauty! Gareth Bale with his third goal of the season and we are completely dominating things right now. I think we're actually going to do it. We're going to sub uh, uh, Benzema already because we want him to start the Champions League game. He probably won't be happy getting subbed off uh, this early. But this uh, secures him to be able to start in the next game. And this is a perfect time to bring in the kid from the youth team, Garcia here. Give him his first game for the first team. Because I'm pretty sure he haven't played for the first team before this uh, save. I would be surprised if he had. Not, not in a real, in a league game at least. Casemiro, Casemiro, oh my gosh, it's his second goal of the season. Not the season, of the game. And it's a very beautiful one. Take a look at this one. Top notch finisher. Isco for Casemiro. Casemiro one touch out of range for the goalkeeper. And we have five goals up. My gosh, let's pause it already. So, who else do we want to rest for the Champions League game? Isco is kind of dying. So, I feel like no reason to rest him because he won't start the Champions League game. And considering Bale. I think Bale could be a good option. Let's bring it off Vasquez so we can start Bale in the, in, the, in the Champions League game too. And of course it's a luxury to be in this situation where we can start subbing players off in like the, 40, like in the 50th minute. And I would like to make uh, the third sub early too, but I'm always like a bit uh, afraid of injuries. So we are waiting a little bit, but maybe we could do it because right now if uh, somebody gets injured, we would definitely still win the game. Here is Vasquez into the box and he loses it. Wait, is it going to be a penalty? I didn't feel, it didn't feel like a penalty. I wouldn't be upset if the ref said no penalty, but if we get one, I take it for sure. But it really didn't feel like a penalty. Let's see, ref, 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 what do you say? 
Will it be a penalty? Yeah, uh, no penalty. Yeah, I, I really felt like that wasn't a penalty, so I'm not uh, upset. It uh, felt like a okay tackle. And here is a throw in going for a bow. Modric, Modric changing flank for Marcelo. Marcelo into the box. And he finds nobody, nobody at all, but Modric picks it up. Now from the other side, can we do better here? That looked like a hands, but uh, I'm humble, but clearly not Modric. A bow, a bow, a bow! His second goal of the season in his first start of the season. Maybe we need to start playing this kid a little bit more. Because uh, he's been brilliant today. And been involved in, in more goals than the ones he's scoring himself, of course. But this finisher, beautiful. And right now, I'm happy I'm not a Sevilla fan, because uh, that would be a painful game here. I think we're going to take a risk. We're going to make an early, early sub, risking, uh, or making our last sub an early sub, risking to uh, find ourselves in a position where... Uh, where uh, I think we're actually going to go with Marcelo, because we have some injuries on the defense line. So all the other guys, I feel like we can rotate. Let's do it like this. And of course, if you have to finish this one with one man down, I think we are safe. 10 minutes left to go. And uh, this is probably to be our best game of the season this far. Of course, the season is very, very young. But beating Sevilla six goals against none is sensational. We are clearly onto something here. And it's a perfect way to bounce back from that that um, Atletico Madrid game. Now we are back in business. Now we are pleased. Take a look at the league table here. We're in second place. Of course, we have Getafe and Atletico Madrid with one game less played. They can overtake us. But if they do, we are just going to be one point behind, breathing down the neck. And we are dominating. Look at this when it comes to goal difference. We are dominating things. But next episode is going to be a special one. It's going to be... Probably an early Champions League group stage final because we are playing Monaco and we are playing them away and that's most likely the toughest game we have ha ahead of us in the Champions League group stage. If we can do well there, I think we are well on our way to win the group but away games in the Champions League is always difficult difficult, and it makes it no easier if you're playing one of, probably the toughest team uh, in, in the group. But that's it for this episode. As always, thank you so much for sharing you your time with me. And of course, these six goals, they deserve a thumbs up. So make sure to click that button. Uh, but yeah, love you all. See you in the next episode.